let's say for example here are hundreds of images you shot from an event or wedding so what you are going to be doing is you are going to be editing the images in, in badges for example maybe in fives and tens or based on the number of images that you decide to be uh, opening into photoshop at a time so let's say for example we are picking uh these like five images and begin with them so you are just going to select them and then you right click and open with photoshop all right let's say here are your images so the first thing they are going to do is you are going to pick one image that you are going to uh, begin with and create the kind of look you are going to apply on all your images so let's say for example we choose these images which uh, we choose this particular image then we rotate it and then we go ahead and do our basic corrections like the exposure maybe if it is too bright if it is too dark we adjust it and then we take down our highlights we correct our white balance if necessary and then maybe we add some contrast for example and then a bit of clarity for example and then some saturation i think and then for our skin we can go over to our uh, color adjustment tab here so for hue we change the skin color if we touch orange so if we are on hue we are changing the skin color to another different color as you can see so let's do command or control z so it depends on how you want to see your skin then you adjust it to according to your taste so let's say for example here we increase the saturation a little and then for the reds as well we boost the red a little and then for the luminance we bright off the skin by taking off the orange a bit and then we go over to our hue and then we touch the orange a bit as well as you can see and then for her clothes if you want play around with your colors okay let's say for example here you edit your image you are okay with the lightning the coloring the skin color everything is perfect for you so the only thing you do for it to apply on the rest of the images is you are just going to make sure you are selecting the image which you have color graded and then you come over here and select this option and then you go for select all and then you go over again and select the option again and then you go and hit sync setting so here the tab will pop up and everything that you check here will apply on the rest of the image let's say for example you want everything to apply on the rest of the images excluding the white balance then you uncheck your white balance if you want your white balance to be applied on the rest of the image then you leave it check if it is contrast then you uncheck contrast and then you go ahead and hit your ok now all the images will have the color grading which you apply on this particular image the only thing you would need to do is just to rotate the images and then you adjust them independently because uh, you are probably going to experience the images with different level of exposure then if you are to, to uh, adjust the exposure then you just go back to your basic correction tabs and then you adjust the exposure of the images uh, of the image you are on independently then you move to the next of the images what's the problem i will need to retire it the exposure she's a bit dark then you right up the image a little bit so let's say for example you are done with the uh with these images with this badge that you import you rotate all of them you uh adjust the exposure of all of them for example and you want to save this color grading for the rest of your images so what you are going to do is you are going to come over here and select and then you go to save settings and then you check everything that you need uh, uh, to be saved 
along with your preset if you want everything to be saved excluding exposure then you uncheck exposure if you want everything then you check everything and then you save your preset and then you name it let's say let's say for example wedding preset and then we select location for it let's say we keep it on our desktop and then we hit save so the next thing you are going to do is you are going to select all your images here you press command or control a all and then you open your images inside of photoshop number one you have color uh, color graded all these images and then you have saved the preset the color grading the exposure settings as a preset for the rest of your images if you import them as well into camera row so now all you need to do is to do your, uh, your your cropping your frequency suppression if you are going to be needing that the content aware of anything you find unwanted on your images and the rest assuming you are done editing these images you crop you frequency suppression everything you are done editing them what you do next is just to exit the images so that you will reduce pressure on the photoshop and then you go back to where your images that you are editing does the wedding images and then you select the next batch as well you right click open and then you open with photoshop again all right and then you go ahead and rotate the image if you like rotate them all and then you go back to this option again and then you go to load settings and bring in that preset which you saved after you color grade the, the, uh, the first batch so as for us we kept it on our desktop so where is our desktop all right here is our desktop and then here is the preset which we saved there's the uh wedding preset here and then we load it then you go ahead and select all the images by pressing command or control a does select all and then you go to your option here and then you go to sync settings again and then you hit ok as well then the settings will affect all this second batch which you uh, uh bring up into your camera row and then you make again adjustment on each each one of them independently if it is the, the exposure you balance your exposure you balance your color and then you select them all again and then you hit your open image into photoshop and then you go ahead and do your frequency suppression copying and order adjustment that you want to do inside of your photoshop so basically that, that's how you'll be doing to the images in sets in badges until you are done editing your wedding or event images